and there comes another governor general lord cornwallis and forced permanent settlement act in order to collect revenues as per this act the company fixed the revenue on an annual basis whether you are rich or poor annually or yearly you have to pay this revenue to the com- company now they did not come to collect the money so what they did they appointed some zamindars and they were called the landlords and these landlords came for the collection and they were given the permanent right of land and revenue collection these landlords were superior than the farmers and they enjoyed the favors of the britishers so they were the britishers against the indians so this is how landlords law were loyal to the company were created the main policy of britishers if you remember was divide and rule they divided us into two parts rich and poor the landlord become very rich and the farmers became very poor this is how they exploited our farmers then what was the effect of their policy on the social life of the people warren hastings was given the job of collecting revenue and was known as collector he also performed the function of a judge now the british system of administration destroyed our ancient system of self rule if you remember in the previous chapters you must have studied how the particular gram panchayat had a sarpanch and the sarpanch used to take care of the entire administration of the village if any problem then people will approach the gram panchayat and the sarpanch and they used to solve the problem there itself so this was called the self rule that is called swarajya that to take care of themselves but this self rule stood their ground during the invasions and sultanate period also when india was invaded by the moguls also this gram panchayat prevailed but it was destroyed due to administrative policies of the britishers they destroyed our administrative so warren hastings was given the job of collecting revenue he also performed the function of a judge In the ancient times every village was like a small republic gram panchayats handled the administration of the entire village apart from this policies adopted by the british for the social reformation of india created feeling of fear among indians and we indians started feeling that they are going to convert them into their religions and destroy the culture of india and this created even more fear in our people in india so they were getting more fearful and the britishers criticized the indian social structure in railways and military which created the feeling of inferiority when all people those who are working for railways and militaries those days also they used to look down at our indians and this created a feeling of inferiority among the indians an order was passed in agra that every indian had to salute the british and now this was too much and this was not at all agreeable by indians and those who did not so was considered as a crime and they were liable for punishment how funny no when they are in our country and they want us to salute them thus with the arrival of the british the social life of indians was totally shattered this was totally shattered as a topic itself says effect of british rule in india all these were small small fire which was burning among the indians which moved them to go for a very big revolved as we will see in the further chapters how our indians revolved how revolution took place how we got rid from the britishers